Do it live! F*** it! Before I got diagnosed with cancer, um, I would say about three or four months before. I felt like I had it. I felt like I, 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 I felt like I knew it was coming, and um, I was scared to death. I was scared to death of dying, and I went into a huge depression. And this was, you know, five years ago. Uh, I couldn't sleep for weeks. I mean, I would get really bad insomnia. I would start losing weight. Um. I looked terrible. I looked terrible. And it was, it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I, it was just like this cycle of doom. And I really believe somehow at that moment, I knew it was coming. I knew I was about to, I, I was afraid of dying. I was afraid of not being around for my kids. I was afraid of cancer. I was afraid of all these things. And then I, then four months later, I, you know, the worst news I, I could have gotten. And it, I, I almost felt like that's what it was Does I, because I couldn't pinpoint it. But that's what it felt like. I, does that make sense? Well, it does because um, God is the great I am, which means he's the past, the present, and the future happening simultaneously. And we can um, see into the future. The more the more we embrace, particularly the sacraments, because I used to not receive the Eucharist, but the Eucharist um, is, itself is intensely powerful. Um, and it will help you. Uh, they used to call the prophets seers. Because you could see into the future, you could see it. Um, it's 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 a little bit more than intuition. It's it's seeing a, the the future um, because the past, the present, and the future are existing. Even Albert Einstein talked about uh, the past, the present, and the future existing simultaneously, and that things that we've done in the past are still out there. That's mm -hmm. why we need absolution because uh, things that we have done are out yeah. there, and ab absolution yeah. goes back in time. And makes it a blessing. It, it transforms. Uh, but no, to answer your question, I hope that answers your question. Is that you were um, you 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 can be a you can be a seer, um, but at the same time, um, I do understand the absolute terror, not being able to sleep. Um, that's the response that 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 I would have um, because that's the human. <laughs> I mean, Jesus was fully human. He didn't go hurrah. You know, he was actually sweating blood in the Garden of Gethsemane because he was also foreseeing something. He didn't know exactly how he was going to. He knew he knew something. He said, oh, look, God, if this cup could pass from me, you know, if only this cup could pass. Um, but he he also Jesus did not, you know, was like we are, where he was able to, uh, he was actually sweating, which is a real thing that can happen to people, sweating drops of blood. The anxiety level was so intense. Yeah. So it, it's good to feel. So I don't, I, I, I honor what you were saying. Um, that happens to me uh, when I, when I'm worried, I stop eating. I don't even realize I'm shedding pounds. I can lose 10 pounds in a week and not even realize I haven't eaten. If I'm traumatized by, I've only had it happen a couple of times, that level of trauma. But um, I, I honor that, that you were, anybody would feel that way. How did you, how were you able to sleep eventually? I would like to ask. Yeah. Um, drugs. <laughs> no, really, because I've gone to my doctor and said, look, I need help. I cannot sleep. I cannot yeah. I need to go to sleep. And I had to see a psychiatrist to help me with a small something so that I could, the edge, I just was like, yeah, <laughs> you know, staring into the ceiling. Yeah, I know what to do now. Um, I resisted those things, but also no one really knew the extent of how bad it was. I mean, I'm I'm talking like not sleeping at all. Like my mind was so... I've been there. Jacked I up. sleep for a year and a half. I've been there. I know it. I hear it. I mean, people think certainly you slept for an hour. No, like none, you know, like, and it is just, it's, it's the most unraveling feeling because you know, you're killing yourself and you can't do anything about it. You know, you're unraveling, you know, you're unhealthy, you know, you need sleep and you can't get it. And the more you want to sleep, the less chance it is that you're going to be able to. Does that make sense?
Well, what happened, what I just said was, if the Lord wants me to sleep, I will, and mm. I'm not. Because there's a scripture in the Psalms about that, that all through the night, I wasn't able to. I mean, there's there's Psalms about what you're describing, mm. where all through the night, I was not able. Um, so I would just say, and I've, I had been severely sleep deprived myself, and I just said, Lord, if, you, if the Lord wants me to sleep, I guess he wants me up keeping a vigil. I mean, I just turned it to some sort of prayer as I, I mean, I, I wasn't saying anything in my head. I was just a prayer of, hey, I'm here in this anxiety and I'm I'm just here, you know, Lord, use it. Or I wasn't even consciously doing it. I would yeah. just say, Lord, I'm in it, it, like Jeff Buckley, wait in the fire, wait in the fire. I'm waiting yeah. in the fire. I don't know what it's doing, but I'm in the fire. I mean, I would literally feel like my body was yep. on fire. Yes. The anxiety yes. level was so high. It's anxiety. It's not necessarily insomnia. It's anxiety causing insomnia. But it's, yes, the fire. Oh, yeah, it's the worst feeling. It's the worst. You literally feel like you're on fire. Yeah. And, um, wait in the fire, wait in the fire. But It's not good for you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.